guys, welcome to my channel. If you're here, then most probably you have baby hair or curly hair, or your mom mother, and you really want to learn how to take care of uh, your natural hair without having to, you know, dry straight all the time or going for keratin treatments and spending a lot of money. If you really just want to love the hair that you're born with, following these tips might just help you realize your hair's potential. You know, it's it's the thing is in India we don't know how to take care of curly hair. It's really different. There's small techniques that you need to do to ensure it doesn't get frizzy as much, it doesn't get dry as much. And incorporating these tricks in your routine will help you become more comfortable with your hair and you know try out a lot of different styles and in the end your hair is going to be really healthy. So I hope uh, you stay to the end of the video because each tip is important. And if you have any doubt about the tips that I'm telling you, you can head over to Instagram where there is a nice community of Indian curly hair and baby hair people. You can head on to the Facebook group called Indian Curl Pride that's run by my friend Asha. It's really, really good. There's tons of tips for even mothers with curly hair kids. A lot of people sharing their own routines and frustrations. So it's a great place to bond. So if you have baby hair or curly hair, there are these 10 things that you need to remember and practice on your hair start seeing results in terms of reducing frizz, reducing dryness, uh, reducing white oily scalp and all of that. Yeah, so let's start. Stop combing curly hair dry. It's, it's difficult to understand because every day we're used to combing it dry, we're used to drenching it in oil and combing it. Stop doing that. Okay, so the thing is, because of a curly hair pattern that's sort of like in spirals, the oil from the scalp does not reach the ends. It's not able to. Which is why a lot of you complain to me saying that I have an oily scalp but I have dry ends. It's because of your hair. It's naturally meant to be like that. So you see these clumps or you see the you see these ringlets? It just means that you know the those strands sort of stick together and curl together. Now when you comb them dry, they end up splitting, they end up puffing up and becoming really frizzy. Okay, so the first tip, stop combing curly hair dry. So when do you comb curly hair? You comb your naturally baby or curly hair inside the shower after you have applied conditioner generously on your hair. And I mean generously because as a beginner, a lot of people do not apply conditioner and styling products enough and then they complain it's not working okay so apply a good amount uh, of conditioner and after that to detangle so you apply the conditioner to your hair okay then you take your fingers and detangle gently now if the conditioner you use is moisturizing and has a lot of slip then this will be quite easy to do Use a leave-in conditioner and or curl cream and or gel to style your hair right after your shower, okay? You have to use one of these products at least, either a leave-in conditioner which is basically a conditioner that's left in your hair. Duh, I know but a lot of people ask this basic question and it's okay because we're not used to this concept of products. Two, curl cream which is basically a styling cream that gives curls definition and hold and makes them last longer and or gel. A gel forms a cast around the curls so that moisture from the environment does not get inside our hair which is really important because we live in very tropical humid climates in India. So after you shower you smooth on the leave-in conditioner on your hair or your curl cream. You take your fingers, you rake it in, rake it in is basically just using your fingers to distribute the product in your hair and then you use a styling comb. I use the Denman brush, I will link that in the description box but you can use any comb, white tooth comb and go with it, it's fine. Now if you have really loose curls or baby hair and you don't want those clumps to break when you comb them right after the shower, you simply smooth it on, on your hair and you scrunch up. Okay? I have really curly hair and I find that after I comb the products in, I tend to get better curls and they last longer. So it's your call. YouTube styling techniques for curly hair, you'll find a lot of them. Find one that suits you.
deep condition your hair once a week. We pamper our faces with face masks, the same thing with the hair, especially when you're starting out. If you're a beginner, you've just started your curly hair journey, you need to deep condition at least once a week to start with. Do this with DIY hair masks. Again, I will link that below. Or get a store bought conditioner. Okay. What the, how is it different from a conditioner is that it's more intensely moisturizing. Okay. It's like it's a conditioner and steroids basically. So how do you use a deep conditioner? On a weekend, usually that's what I prefer to do. Shampoo your hair so you cleanse your scalp and your hair of any previous styling products. You take your deep conditioner, apply it to your mid length, to your ends and leave it on for like half an hour to an hour, two hours if you're going out outside apply it keep it in a mask just wrap it in a bun and then go out i have a separate video on deep conditioning that you should watch if you're interested you know how to do it right to stop using your normal towel to dry out your hair okay unless it's a microfiber towel use a t-shirt to dry your hair or scrunch your hair after you're done styling and what you will realize is that you have slightly less frizz than you would with a towel. Tip 6 okay, is the CG method. CGM or CG method is actually the curly girl method that was developed by Lauren Macy. This is people with natural hair to stop using shampoos with sulfates, conditioners with silicones, and gels with drying alcohols okay these ingredients make our naturally dry curly hair even drier okay so the thing is in shampoos you have that lather that forms after you vigorously rub your scalp that usually is because there is sulfates in your shampoos it's that detergent like ingredient that makes your hair lather so much unfortunately that also removes all the natural oils from our scalp and our hair you can obviously use them once a month to clarify and cleanse, okay, which is recommended usually. In your conditioners, usually there are silicones, you know, dimethicone, amodimethicone, I think, dimethiconol. Now, your usual conditioners, why you feel it is so soft after using them is because that silicone, which is actually a plastic, coats your hair. Okay, In a way, it protects your hair against uh, frizz by preventing moisture coming inside your hair but it also causes build up okay it's like a gate that can't be broken unless you shampoo with a sulfate shampoo so you see this vicious cycle if you use a sulfate shampoo and then you use a conditioner with silicones to remove this conditioner you need to use the shampoo again okay so it becomes a really bad cycle and a lot of people have found that it doesn't benefit their hair and they shift to the CG method which is don't use shampoos with sulfates, don't use conditioners with silicones, don't use gels, leave-in conditioners, any styling products that have any of these types. Curly hair tip 7. Stop using a blow dryer with heat. Stop ironing your hair frequently. Stop getting it straightened and blow dry in the salon frequently. You're frying your hair. You have anywhere very naturally dry hair, it's already fizzy. And then you take that tong and that straightening iron. I know girls in college who've actually used an iron to straighten their hair. It's really damaging, it's really damaging. If you do this regularly, you will get damaged hair that cannot go back to its natural state. Okay, I know a lot of girls who have heat. Now get out, out, out. Sorry, that was my cat. So I know a lot of girls who have severely heat damaged their hair and they will need to chop that off. There's no way to get it back. Avoid heat as much as you can, especially in the beginning. A lot of curly girls, once their hair is really healthy consistently for a long time, do straighten their hair and they, there are ways to reduce the damage that is caused by heat, but that's much later. If you do want to dry your hair faster, you can use a hair dryer with a diffuser attached. So what a diffuser does is um, it spreads the air evenly 
uniformly throughout their attachment. I have a video on diffusing curly hair too. I will link all of them below, so don't worry. You can check the check those out. And what it does is it creates more volume, so it's like an attachment that sort of goes here, and then you use a hair dryer below it. It spreads the air evenly, so it's not directly blasting on your hair, and it's less harmful. It does take a lot of time, but it's worth it. You you need to see that video to understand the results and why it's worth it. Okay. Protect your curls when you're sleeping at night. Okay. So you want your curls to remain as bouncy and healthy and defined as it was on day one. And while then may not be exactly possible, you can make them last longer by one. Putting your hair in a pineapple when you sleep at night. Okay, that basically just means you take all of the hair in front, you know, like this. Okay, and then you tie a rubber band like this, and this is called a pineapple. And then you use a satin cap to cover your hair. Okay? Just use a satin cap to cover your hair, or you use a satin scarf. Either way. Some girls prefer to use a pineapple and then sleep on satin-covered pillowcases, which is actually even great for our skin. So it's it's not a bad thing to have in your bedroom. A satin pillowcases, a satin scarf, or a satin cap after you pineapple your hair. So yeah, if you're not washing your hair every day, I know a lot of girls, especially me at the beginning, felt like you know there was something missing. And you want your curls to last as long as they can before washing it again, right? So you do this by refreshing your curly hair on day two, day three, day four. How much ever longer you can go without needing to wash your hair. So I wash my hair twice a week, but on day two, day three, I refresh my hair. Now how I do this is by taking a spray spray bottle. You can take a flare salt bottle also, which is basically your an iPhone of spray bottles, if I can call it that. Um, You spritz your hair with water. You make it moist, and uh, it, that keeps it moisturized. And then you use a curly hair cream or a leave-in to basically just smooth on the frizzy parts of your hair. Okay. And I have a video on this also uh, with a DIY recipe of the refresh spray that you can try. It's really easy. And you do this on day two, day three in the morning. You spritz your hair. You apply the cream a little bit on the you know the frizzy areas. You scrunch up. Fluff your roots a little for volume and crown, and you go watch it until you wash it next. Okay. Tip number ten is what I personally went through in school because I got my hair keratin. Tip number ten: avoid keratin smoothening, hair botox, and other chemical treatments for your curls. Okay. I know that you, I personally grew up hating my hair because I was bullied for it. I was teased for it. I hated how it looked. It used to be this big bushy mass of hair that I had, that I used to keep combed. I used to drench my scalp with oil and comb it back and then keep it in this you know ponytail. It used to be this big ass bush and it was just it was really bad because people you know would tease you and bully you. All parlor aunties. Oh, you know, spit a smoothing karado, and I finally got it done. And the funny thing is, especially to salons in India, okay, you are the people who need to know how to take care of different types of hair. Okay, suggesting a keratin treatment or a hair botox or smoothing treatment just when you see somebody with natural hair is just really wrong. Okay, stop doing it. Like I know so many girls have come to me saying that they said it's a hair spa. And then later, it was a keratin treatment. Okay, and they prey on this insecurity and the ignorance that people have about these treatments. They make the person feel bad and convince them to get a keratin treatment, which also happened to me. Okay, in in this, thankfully, I did not say yes a second time. So salons in India need to definitely need to learn about how to take care of curly hair. There are enough videos online, and I'm now I know some people who do. Now there's at least a couple of salons in India. Uh, that take care of curly hair really well, or know how to handle curly hair. You know, instead of just telling you to get it straight, okay, which is a relief. But there are few, and there are too many to count that tell you that it's really bad or just really rough. Why just why don't you just get it straight? So that's what I 
got done in just before my 12th farewell i got my hair chemical straightened by a keratin treatment and obviously it last for it did not last more than a couple of months but after that i lost so much hair i lost so much hair i was having nightmares about the hair i was losing in college it was really damaged it was not it does it does not go back to your original curls it comes really baby and brittle and dry because uh, your chemical composition of your hair has transformed after the treatment it can't go back so this is how it used to look when they were post the keratin treatment a couple of i think a year and a half after the keratin treatment this is how they look the thing is i accidentally started this process in curly hair care called transitioning which is transitioning from chemically damaged hair to your natural curls what it means is that you chop off your damaged hair either in one go that is called big chop or you chop it off slowly as your hair grows longer which is most recommended i think for a lot of girls especially in india because i know you're very very particular about your hair length i know my mother is so many people are uh, but honestly the best way to cut off all of the damaged hair in one go but if you want to go at, go at it a little slower just keep cutting off the damaged off part slowly while taking care of your natural curls with these tips i've told you so thank you guys for watching i hope it helps you uh, to get really really nice happy bouncy wavy and curly hair because we deserve to feel confident in our natural hair and that hasn't always been the case and i cannot wait for you to see your hair at the best potential it has you know you've just seen it at the worst and it's going to be so much fun when you realize how amazing the curls get you okay right after i start taking care of my hair i used to get a lot of compliments in the train in the metro is it natural have you done it in the salon you are capable of having really good hair beautiful hair but you just need to know how to take care of it okay so thank you guys for watching if you have any friends who have frizzy baby or curly hair or just call their hair it's frizzy that's not a hair type it's a characteristic of our hair type but it's not a hair type but if you have friends like that please share it with them If you've liked the video and you found this helpful, please don't hesitate to hit the like button, share it with your curly baby friends, and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming your way. So until next video, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Curious Jelly. I post a lot of product reviews, pictures of my hair, techniques I've been trying out, outfits for curvy women, uh, things I'm reading, anything. Okay, anything I'm curious about, it's there. But it's where I can answer your questions if you have any. and where well, i keep updating more regularly than my channel now so bye thank you guys for watching bye